The bill is passed. After months of delays in GOP infighting, the U.S. House voting Saturday to provide $95 billion to allies abroad, a major win for the White House and Speaker Mike Johnson. In a rare move, Democrats crossing the aisle to help Republicans clear a series of foreign assistance bills. The package would provide $61 billion to help Ukraine fight Russia, $26 billion for Israel just days after Iran attacked the Jewish nation, and $8 billion for the Indo-Pacific, where the rise of China has national security experts worried. A fourth bill bans TikTok if its Chinese owner doesn't divest and changes some foreign assistance into a loan, an idea first floated by former President Donald Trump. If we turn our backs right now, the consequences could be devastating. This afternoon, the House acted, and we sent over to the Senate, and it will be transmitted shortly. The vote landing Speaker Mike Johnson in trouble with some in his own party, particularly those who remain skeptical of helping Ukraine. Shame on the American government, and our military, and our government should care about protecting the national security of the United States of America and the Americans that pay their hard-earned tax dollars to fund all of this. Supporters, however, arguing that the package protects national security in the long run. If you want peace, give the Ukrainians the strength to stop Putin. On Saturday, Senate leaders unveiling a plan to take up the package this Tuesday. But in the halls of Congress, speculation about whether Speaker Johnson can even keep his job is what's dominating coffee pot chatter. A band of MAGA-aligned conservatives threatening to oust him as Speaker any day now. This is like a ratchet. The pressure will just keep building. The Speaker's overdrawn on political capital, and he's going to go bankrupt after this vote. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.